Hi everyone, today we're at Guangzhou Market in Seoul. This is one of the biggest markets here and I can't wait to just explore all of the food and try as much as we can. Let's go! It literally looks like a Prada bag. A designer bag isn't even as nicely shaped as this. First, I'm going to try one of the kimchi dumplings. Mm. Wow. This is so delicious. There's still the crunch from the kimchi and it's just, oh, the flavor is just unreal. I don't even know how to describe it. It's actually got a little bit of pork in it as well. So good. Thank you. Wow. Next time trying the homemade noodles. What's really beautiful about these is like the different textures and the different kind of thicknesses of the noodles. That's when you really know that it is homemade or handmade noodles. Oh, the bite is just amazing. Let's, let's give it a try. Oh my chewy it's got such a nice texture um it just really glides in your mouth and the soup is really lightweight like it's not too strong in flavor which i think goes really well i'm just gonna have a bite of this kind of like thicker noodle mm. nice and chewy i love it you can really tell that it's made with love they give you kimchi as well. Mm. <laughs> this kimchi is crunchy, sour. It has the perfect amount of fermentation that I love, which gives such a nice kick. So good. One of this and one of this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So the audio actually cut out for these clips, but let me describe what everything tasted like. So this is a Mayak kimbap. You have to dip it into the tteokbokki sauce. It makes it extra flavorful and spicy. It tastes so yummy and fresh. So inside the seaweed and rice, there's a piece of radish so that adds a really nice freshness and crunch. It is so yummy. And wow, I think this is the thickest tteokbokki I've ever seen. It tasted so yummy, spicy. The texture was like chewy and bouncy. If you haven't had it before, it's made out of rice cake, so it's so delicious. It has such an addictive texture. I love it so much. You definitely have to try it if you come here. I got a fish cake. I already took a bite of it. It is really nice and um, I don't want to drop it. Let's give it another bite. Mm, really nice and thin. Um, very subtle flavor. It's just a really nice snack. This was only 1,000 won, which is just over one Australian dollar. Really good. So fun fact about the bimbap, people actually call it drug bimbap because they say it's so addictive that it's like a drug. This is them freshly crushing the mung bean. We got the mung bean meat pancake. So you can get just a plain mung bean one or the one with the meat. That's the one that we got. Looks so golden and crispy. We just saw him fry it fresh right on the oil. Super excited to try it. The secret is to have a bite with the onion that was in the soy sauce. It makes it taste a lot more fresh. Mm. It's quite heavy, a little bit greasy, really packed with the filling, flour, 
Um, I see some veggies and meat in here. It's not something I'll get too often though because it is quite heavy, um, but really nice to try. Joking. I think these are the best donuts I've had in my whole life. They are so fluffy, crispy on the outside, the cinnamon sugar is perfect, and like the texture, it's like that bouncy fluffy texture in the center. You have to do a close up, this is so good. And you'll see this in a moment, I'm gonna take a bite, right? And you'll see it just spring open. This is a thousand won as well. It's literally just over a dollar, like a dollar twenty AUD or something around there. It's worth every cent. I need to buy more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this drink is called Sikke or a sweet rice drink. And um it tastes good, it tastes really good. Not too sweet, like a slight sweetness. And there's like little bits of like very soft rice at the bottom as well. Very refreshing. I would actually get this again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> handsome. Handsome. Oh, very handsome. handsome. Yes. <laughs> oh. So we've mixed in the egg yolk. You <laughs> see the octopus still moving. It is dead, don't worry. Um, but the nerves are still intact, so that's why I can see it's slightly wiggling at times. It's mostly stopped now, I think, but it's here and there. Pear in here as well. Some tartar some octopus they told us the way to eat it is to grab a piece of seaweed wrap it into the seaweed and then dip it into this sesame oil sort of pepper sauce from the looks of it um let's give it a go mm, very fresh I felt it wriggle a little bit. It's clinging to the walls of my mouth. So the Korean pear is really sweet. The octopus has quite a bite to it. So it has like this really chewy, not super chewy though, like slightly chewy texture. And then it dipped in this sesame oil, um, salt and pepper, adds just a little bit of flavor and really enhances it. Yeah, it's nice to try. I don't know if I'll be eating this every day though. So I've got some Korean blood sausage. This is my first time trying it. Um, it looks like it's very packed with rice. They've got a little bit of salt and pepper, so you dip it in there. It's very gelatinous. The rice almost tastes like sticky. It's interesting, it's got a unique texture. Probably not my favorite. It was taking me a little bit to get used to because it's such a unique taste. But yeah. This is the honey hot dog. Um, it is 1,500 won. I think that's just under two Australian dollars. And you can just see them cooking it right, really fresh right in front of you. They filled it, the inside of it with honey. Mm. Super fresh, nice pastry, fluffy. The honey is quite sweet. <laughs> Where there is a long line, big crowds, there's probably something really good that people are waiting for. So these donuts were definitely worth it. I think I might come back during this trip to grab some more.